Hello and welcome to our second video of how to create a super simple bootloader. Just to recap, so far we've done the getting started and the first part of the linker file hands-on session. So I'll continue to deploy the linker file hands-on while we do a new exploration. And this time we're going to place a function in a very specific memory region. I'll start by adding it on the flash and then I'll create a second one in run. And this is basically where we're going to add it to allow the section for the flash to be created. That's going to be called my memory region and uh, I'll go into more details in the code. So right now I'm opening the linker script and I'm creating the my memory region. I'm adding it on the last 32k bay uh, flash. So as we can see, I reduced the main flash to add my memory region. And then if I go down a little bit into the sections itself, I'm gonna create the my memory region there. So I'm just adding the code in order to create it. I'm also gonna add now a check to see if my memory region has overflowed. This is a very neat feature. Um, I recommend that to have whenever you're creating your own regions. So basically what it's gonna do is check the length of my memory and compare between the end and the start of the code that is there. And if it's bigger, then of course, it's gonna show us a mem memory overflow message for us. Now let's resume back to our code and I've viewed why I was switching and now I have the my memory region shown on on the LF file so we could sit there below and it's still with nothing. So that's why I'm gonna create a, a small function to reside there. And since I'm gonna reuse the same attribute, I'm gonna actually create a define uh, with the attribute to place everything with this locate underscore fun into the section that we just created the my section. All right, uh, now that I have the define done, I can go on and create my own function uh, using that as a somewhat of shortcut key <laughs> to place the function in the location that I want. So I'm gonna use that and create a very simple function called blink. And that it's actually going to position the blink function inside the my memory region. So the function itself is very basic. It's just a reuse of the how GPL toggle pin. And I'm going to use the defines for the LED green that we already created on the previous video. So, and of course, uh, I'll add the delay that we received the delay ticks as the input parameter. Now all that's left to do is pretty much use the function. So I'm gonna scroll down into the main loop and add the blink. And now I can view my code and check upon the um, ELF. So now I can see that my memory region has 36 amazing bytes, which is basically the function that we just created residing there. So now one way to check it is of course by debugging. So I'll switch to the debug interface just to prove that this is not gonna cause any hard fault or any pointer going haywire. So this is just a very simple demonstration though. So I'm going to execute the code and just place a breakpoint in the main loop and we can see it reached, there's nothing going wrong. Uh, I can ensure you guys that the code is working properly as we could see on the debug demonstration. All right, now let's assume that we wanted to use a run function this time instead of the flash. So I'm going to create uh, a function that will be placed on run using the same command with the attribute, but this time I'm going to use an already created section of the linker script. So of course, I don't expect anyone to remember the names that are available there. That's why I'm going to also switch to the linker script uh, region uh, and demonstrate where to find it. So by opening the linker script, I can scroll down a little bit and check that there are several regions that are related to the run memory. Uh, we can see the ones that we created on the past video, the my memory that we just assigned. But what we are actually looking for is one that will reside on flash and then will be automatically uploaded to the run. And that's the one. So. We can see here the function will be located at run, but it's also saved on flash. And that's exactly what we want. So this is the section that is already created for that end. So the run func. 
and then just copy paste here and now I can create a function uh, which in, in our case is just gonna turn on the LED uh, the LED so I'll just create that and pass an argument for if it should be on or off. I know the, the name is not the best one, uh, but bear with me. Uh, so the function, I'll just copy and paste right now to use it on the main. So let me switch back to the main function, scroll a little bit, replace the previous one and just add the one that we have. And now after I'm building the application, we can actually go to the memory details again and see that we have on the run underscore dot data uh, we have our turn on LED function located at run and the size of it so we, we have the address that it's loaded on flash and then we have the address that runs from run during the application and again in order to demonstrate that I'm just gonna enter in debug mode and before even hitting play we can go to the function and go to a closer view and see that it actually is located in run we can see the address and whenever I'm doing the code execution we can again see that the code will properly load and um, the function will behave normally without any hard fault creation there all right uh, so this basically demonstrated how we could create one function in flash and the other one in run and right now I'm just going to use a different concept uh, of function pointers. So instead of calling the function by its name, I'm going to create a pointer of functions. Right now we just have one function that I'm interested in adding, which is the blink, because it's located on my memory region. And as you guys, pro guys probably already understood, I'm eventually going to share this memory region between the bootloader and the application. So I'm just adding another uh, building block of the steps needed towards our end goal. So of course I need to create a type def for the pointer as well, which I'm doing right now. And now that I have both the function pointer plus the pointer structure itself called functions, all I have to do now is go to the main, switch back and replace the blink with the functions. Of course it's pointer. So a few changes needs to be done on the code as well to reflect the pointer structure. That's the only position. And the argument, which is I'll be keeping the 100 milliseconds. And just to prove again, I'll enter in debug mode and you guys are gonna see that there's no hard fault. And the application does run as expected. All right, uh, this was basically what I wanted to show for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. Let's see each other on the next video where I'm going to create the bootloader. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, have a wonderful day.